one of the most exciting prophets of the Bible is a man by the name of Elijah. Um, Elijah was a person who was very much alone in the world in his profession, which was being a prophet of God. There was a queen, um, a queen that brought in all kinds of other gods and in the process killed the followers of Yahweh. So he was all alone. And this other god was by, uh, he had the name of, of Baal, B-A-A-L, Baal. And everybody was going around, and the queen, whose name was Jezebel, oh boy, she loved that. But Elijah was a person who was called to speak for the Lord even when he was a minority, even when everybody else seemed to be going in another direction. He stood up for the Lord and said, yes, God is right. No, there was one time there were 450 prophets of this Baal, and it was only Elijah who was standing up against 450 people. But God was on his side, and because of that, he had the courage to say the truth, to say the expression that came out of his heart of his love of God in a real way. The message of Elijah is important for us during this time of Advent. We're called to be people not just going along with everybody else, and sometimes you might think of that as you're going into shopping and just kind of moving along with everybody in the crowd. We're called, by, like the prophet Elijah, to stand up for what God says. And what does that say? It says to make God the most important, not, not materialism or sensuality or power, but to make God the most important person in our life. And number two, to reach out especially to people that are hurting in our own life. May we listen to the story of the prophet Elijah as he stands alone with everybody else but believing in God. May we have that courage, may we have that strength to love God and to love others with all of our hearts. Now may Jesus' love for you always make you smile.